All right. We got 9, 10, and 11 on chapter 4 test, right? Practice test. Um, basically, they want you to write an equation in slope-intercept form. What is slope-intercept form? What's the goddess equation? That's it. Y equals mx plus b. Okay? So if anybody asks you, if any of the quizzes ask you, point slope, y intercept form, okay? Use y equals mx plus b. If they say use point slope, don't listen to them. Just use y equals mx plus b. Is this almost with anything? Any linear. Anything linear. Meaning there's one variable, x, right? And there's no exponent on the x. In other words, the exponent is a 1 and it's hidden. Okay? Linear. linear. Okay? Alright, and so basically, all I have to do here is this is a typical point slope problem. They say, put this into the point slope equation. I say, screw that. Plug it into y equals mx plus b. It's simpler. y equals mx plus b. This is x, this is y, this is m. They have everything but b. So you just plug them in. y is 4 equals m to 6. x, 6 plus This is back to the regular algebra, right? Now look, if you have just a 6 and you're times it by a fraction, what is your key? What should you do? Put a 1 under it. Now, does 6 go into 6? Yes. yes. So you can cross those out, but whenever I do that, for some reason, it confuses students. So I'm going to take it a step further and just go, what's 6 times 2? 12. 12. And what's 6 times 1? 1. No. Oh, 6. 6. Plus b, right, equals 4. And then break it down. 6 goes into 12 twice, right? Okay, and then subtract 2 from both sides and you get 2 equals B. So B is equal to 2. M is equal to 2, 6, right? So minus 2 on both sides? Yes, minus 2 on both sides. And then that takes the 12 root 2 and divide by 8. Yes. So, what am I going to write next to that x? What goes here? M. Okay. And then b is plus 2. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Can you do this? Destiny? You can do this. Alyssa, you can do this. Edna. Now, if you were having trouble with this before the ACT, right? And you can do it now. You think those scores are going to go up? Absolutely. Right? Big deal. Your geometry scores were awesome, but your... Algebra story needed to come up. This is going to help that. Oh, yeah, it tells you about that? Yeah. So bring it in, and I can tell you where you need work. Okay? All right, next. Same thing. M. X. Y. 2 equals M. 3 halves X. 6 plus B. 
Okay, my B's and my sixes look a lot alike, so sorry about that. Okay, now remember, this is six times three, so that's 18 over two. So two is equal to 18 over two plus B. Two goes into 18, nine times, right? So what do I do? The opposite. What's the opposite? Divide. Multiply. Subtract. Yes. Okay. Good guess. Alright. Plus. Plus the opposite. Minus 7 equals B. Okay? I have B, I have M. Y equals X. See, I put a space there. And then I put my M, three halves. And then I put my, X, my B, minus seven. That's it. We got that. And just like yesterday, we can graph that. Start at negative seven. Up uh, three, right two. Bam. Next. What do I start with? What is the slope? What's the letter? Y. M. Good. Wait. I wrote Y. See? Kill him. Wait, so what's Y? What is Y? It's the beginning of the equation at the end, right? So that y is always going to be y equals and then. Y equals so we're at m x plus b, right? So which one's y and which one's x? What comes first in the alphabet? X. Y. Okay. Okay. And then plug them in. Y is how much? Two. Yep. M is? Three X is? Negative five. Yes. And B is? B. B? That's right. So we're solving for B. That's it. So now we've got negative 5 over 1. So that would be negative 15 over 5 equals 2 plus b over here, right? So how many times is 5 going to negative 15? I don't know. That's a tricky question. How many times is 5 going to 15? 3. Negative, negative and a positive three. make a negative. Good. Negative 3 equals 2 plus b. What do I got to do? Subtract. Oh, wait, use add. Oh, opposite. Add the opposite. What's the opposite of negative 3? Yes, sir. Simple. So 3 and 3. Those cancel. 3 and 2 make... Y equals X. Okay, what goes in front of the X? Better? 